Sea of Thieves just launched yet another update, and with it comes the beginning of the Pirate Emporium, an in-game shop where you can spend real-world money to obtain certain items in-game. With this update and the start of the Emporium, there has been a lot of community feedback. Some people that are perfectly okay with the Emporium, and others that think it's just a step in the wrong direction. Today we're going to be discussing the logistics of the Pirate Emporium, and how it's really going to affect your gameplay. Now first off, I want to say that every single item in the Emporium is going to be cosmetic only, or it's not really going to affect the game in any way. There's only a few things that you can buy right now. Right now you can spend money on... Uh, some emotes, some new pets, which include monkeys and birds, or you can buy some ship cosmetics with more stuff to be added over time. The selection right now isn't really that big. You can only obtain the items from the Pirate Emporium with the in-game currency called Ancient Coins. There is a way to earn those in-game. There is a special skeleton that will spawn and he'll give you a small amount of this uh, currency. I don't know how large that is. I haven't encountered him yet in-game. But regardless, you can pay real money in order to obtain this. Uh, there's five different tiers that you can purchase ancient coins in for 199 USD You'll get 150 coins for six dollars. You will get 550 coins Ten dollars will give you a thousand coins twenty three dollars gives you twenty five hundred fifty and thirty five dollars will give you four thousand two hundred and fifty coins So basically the higher up you go the better deal you will get on on these coins so uh, the $10 one is basically giving you uh, every 100 coins is a dollar, whereas if you go down to the 199 edition, you're not getting that same value. Um, I don't necessarily have a problem with the way that this uh, currency is monetized. I do think it could be a little bit more streamlined where uh, the 199 will give you 200 coins and everything kind of just scales up like that, where every 100 coins is a dollar, and then when you get to the higher up prices, you'll just get a little bonus. So I think that could be done a little bit better so say instead of paying uh ten dollars for a thousand coins you would pay ten dollars and maybe get a thousand two hundred coins so you just get a little bit of a bonus for spending that more uh that way the consistency is still there with 100 coins being a dollar but after you purchase that and you are in the store, you'll notice a few of the sets that you can get at a discounted price. Uh, you can get a Macaw Sea Dog Bundle, which is a parrot that comes with an outfit. Or you can get the Capuchin Sea Dog Bundle, which comes with a Capuchin Monkey with an outfit. Uh, but you cannot interchange these uh, right now. So if you're buying that Capuchin Bundle, you're getting that white Capuchin with... Uh, that sea dog outfit you can buy this outfit for any of your pets However, it's going to be just a little bit cheaper if you get it from that bundle But it appears as though you're not going to be able to uh, select which color bird or monkey you're going to get if you get it through the bundle However, the pricing for the animals themselves, I don't have too much of a problem with. I was very excited when pets were announced, and I was excited to see how they were going to monetize it. As it stands right now, if you want to buy a uh, animal, it's going to cost 499 coins, which is going to round out to about $5 USD. And then you can purchase the outfit after you purchase one of the animals, uh, and that's going to be a couple bucks right there, 249 coins. So essentially, if you want to buy a bird and get the outfit with it it's going to cost you about seven and a half dollars which isn't too bad uh, i don't have a a major problem with that i myself have only bought uh the azure macaw and the outfit so i spent about seven and a half dollars there haven't bought a monkey or anything yet uh, but the prices itself not bad uh some people were saying hey i would have gladly paid ten dollars for an animal i think five dollars is a, a pretty safe and uh easy to obtain one it's not you know too out of out of, out of the way but besides getting the pets, you can get emotes, something I personally am never really going to buy. Uh, you can grab a couple of the emotes by themselves for about $1.50, or you can get the variety bundle, which is going to give you eight emotes for $10. Again, myself, I don't really care about the emotes. It's nothing I'm going to be buying. Uh, but do know that it is there. It's not too expensive, but um, I, I think the emotes we have in game are, are perfectly fine, and I don't have a need for any of the other ones. And the final thing that you can buy is the ship collections. Now, obviously, these items are going to rotate and they're going to add more. Right now, the only ship cosmetics you can buy are the bear and bird ship collection, 
which is a little bit pricey. This is the only gripe I have right now with the in-game store. So if you want to buy the bear and bird ship bundle, it's going to be about $25. Or you can buy the items that come with it for a designated price for each of the items. But if you want the most bang for your buck to get all of these items, it's going to be about $25. But if you want the upgraded versions of what the figurehead are in the sales, it's going to cost you about 8 bucks per each of those items. So $25 will get you the whole ship bundle, but then another 16 if you want to fully complete it and fully kit it out. I think that's a bit much for the ship customization bundle, and I don't even think the bundle itself uh, even looks that great. It's uh, If I got it in-game for free... I could easily rock it, but I definitely would not be spending $25 on some ship cosmetics when I have better things in my chest that I think look a lot better. All in all, I don't mind the Pirate Emporium. See if these has been surviving on game sales alone for the past year. And I don't know the figures of how much Sea of Thieves have sold, but I see nothing wrong with having an in-game store as long as everything that we can buy uh, is only cosmetic. It's not going to affect gameplay in any way. I think the prices for, let's say, the emotes and the ships could be brought down a little bit uh, just so it doesn't seem like they're really just trying to get money. Like I said, the ship cosmetic bundle, or at least the one they have now definitely not worth $25 if they put like the fairy of the damned cosmetic I could pay like I wouldn't mind paying $20 for that you know it, it's an option that's there for players who want to support the developers however it's not completely necessary there's enough stuff you can get in game that looks really good and you won't have to spend any real money so the price for pets, like I said, I think is fine. Five dollars a pet, not bad at all, and only a dollar or two more. If you wanted to get one of the outfits, they're obviously going to be adding some more. So far, I don't have a problem with the Pirate Emporium. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Will you be buying the in-game currency, or are you just going to stick with you paid for the game, and that's all you're going to need? Let me know in the comments down below, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Cheerio, mates!